Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and welcome. I am going to try out something new here. Uh, I actually have courses uh, for Toon Boom Harmony over on Udemy, and we'll talk about that at the end of how you can get those at a discount. But uh, someone had asked me a question uh, from my course, and I thought, you know, let me go ahead and answer it here, share it with the Udemy group, but I'll also share it with my actual YouTube group. So anyway, hey, Tony, I'm setting up a rig based on your pepper guy. Notice that my previous deformer joints are present uh, after putting them in arms and body. When I click the rig legs, the deformer pops up from previous arms, even in solo mode. I can see the previous deformer rigs. Is there anything that I can click to show this? Yada, 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 Raheem Lair. I'm in Harmony 15 latest version. Also tried nudging on a PC, not working. So I keyframe the positions only on Z uh, for now, but wondering if there's more problems later. Thanks, Jim. All right, so that being said, I'm gonna turn this off. Um, so what he's talking about? Uh, one, stop that. So I have two different arms here. I have arm one and arm two. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go up here to my deformer rig and I'll Let's say I'll just do a bone deformer here and just click here once, click here, and then click at the end. Uh, of course, the articulator in the middle um, has to at least touch the edges. And if I go to my transform tool, yes, that arm works good. Awesome. Now, I'm going to uh, Command Z and make that back out flat. I need to do the other arm, all right? Um, by the way, let me do this. Um, the way that I work, if it's gonna be a bone, I just type in BN instead of deformer, close it out. Let's go to arm two, and I wanna come over here and make a bone, but I can still see this one here. Here's the deal. There's this little box right here. It says show selected deformation chain, hide all others. If I click on that, boom, the other one goes away, okay? So on this arm, I can do a curved deformer if I wanted. This is of course in Harmony Premium. That's how you get a curved deformer. Um, I'm going to rename that layer CRV or rename my def deformation CRV for curve. Um, and again, it's just my personal preference. Go back to my transform. And now I can uh, go ahead and curve that. And I'm thinking, yeah, but now I've got that where I want it. Um, I need to do something with the other arm. How do you do that? Click on this arm to select it. Come up here, click on that little box again to show selected deformation. All right, and there we have it. All right, so there we go. Um, last but not least, nudging. Um, now I don't have any uh, peg set up, um, but I'm gonna do this for a second just with the drawing. So I, if I wanna move this little body or the circle to the foreground here, what I can do is um, that's selected. And if you look right now, there's a thin red line around my timeline because that is what is active. I'm on my transform tool. Um, I don't have my animate tool turned on or excuse my animate button turned on. The main thing, main reason why is I don't want to animate this. I actually want to have this kind of as a permanent set. Um, I can always move it back later. But in order to make this happen, your camera view has to be active. So if you look, um, my camera has that little thin red line around there. And if you want to just double check, click just once on the object you're trying to move forward. So I've got the transform tool. I have clicked once in this little area to make sure it's active. I'm gonna hold down my option key. It should be Alt on PC. And then to bring it forward, you press the down arrow. You may, or think about it, the down arrow is the one pointing toward you. Um, so you're telling it to come toward you. So I'm gonna hold down option, press the down arrow once, and that brings it forward. That should nudge it. Um, a slightly more advanced way to make sure you don't have to click on things is actually in your preferences. This is on the Mac, it's Harmony, come down to preferences, uh, PC, I think it's edit preferences, but 
we'll go here and under the general tab under options there's a box that says focus on mouse enter make sure that box is checked and that way make sure you do go ahead and hit return or enter um, and that way whenever you move your cursor or your mouse um, those areas will automatically uh, become active so that way you don't have to do that so I hope that was a help and letting you know, we do actually have some courses on Udemy. That's udemy.com and you can get to ours by udemy.com slash user slash Tony Ross. And what I want to talk to you about is uh, there are several courses we actually have here. A lot of them are in Toon Boom. We've got some in PubCoder and they're usually at a discount, but we actually set up a special code for our YouTube followers. For instance, if I go to one of these courses here and I decide to add this to the cart, I should be able to add in a simple little code. And I'm going to type in YouTube 11 and click on apply and the course is now just $12. So pretty much it'll either be $11.99 or $12. And if you use my coupon code, Udemy does throw me a little bit of extra love, which I would heavily appreciate. And if not, Hey, maybe you know someone who likes it and you know what? Still, there's some free tutorials here on our site. So hopefully you have liked this tutorial. It helped you out a little bit. Be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, this is Tony Ross from TonyTeach.com. Make art, not excuses. So go make something. Have a good one.